How's it Ganon lads? Marshall here and welcome to another review. Now this one is very much requested, so go hammer that thumbs up button. It is a name I can't really pronounce, Kalechi Ihinachu. Now if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN or even game codes lads, head on over to g2a.com and use that code M89. Every single link that you will need is right there in the description below and as you can see on screen, the border has changed with each card that comes with the reviews, the border will change. That is what is the beauty of this border. The colors will change. Now his price, if you do want to buy him, is hovering around the 20k mark on the Xbox. He's got five and seven. Now this guy, I don't know if you can call him a wonder kid in real life. Well, basically you can. He scores with every virtual shot in real life that he takes. On this game, he isn't quite as clinical, but his card looks immense. 89 acceleration and 85 sprint speed but if you add the Hunter chemistry style look at his card on the left hand side of your screen 97 pace and 83 shooting that is basically a broken card it really is for silver that is immense Otherwise, he doesn't really have too much going for him. His dribbling is okay. His ball control is good. He has left foot primarily. Freestyle skills, freestyle weak foot, high to medium work rates. Now he's got the finesse shot trades. I disagree with that because what you want to do with Kalechi Nacho is take the power strike because as with a lot of cards in this game, his curve sucks. So even though he's got the finesse shot trades, he doesn't generate the power. So what you want to do, like you've seen in that clip there, is shoot across the goalkeeper with that strong, strong left foot because the power he generates is ridiculous. It's so damn good. He gets the ball off drink water here, takes a touch, and then unleashes a thunderbolt across the goalkeeper into the back of the net. It is that easier to do with Kalechi. And I'm just gonna call him that from now on so I don't butcher his name. But this is a nice finish as well. The keeper came out, and that is a cross. I stress that, a cross over the top of the goalkeeper. That used to be broken in FIFA 13, I think it was. And uh, yeah, it's, it seems easy to score on this one as well. If the keeper's coming and rushing you, just tap cross and it will dink it over him like a little nonchalant chip. Now in terms of pros with the card, acceleration. It is instant. It really is good. Now, like I said, I have the Hunter chemistry style on him. That is the one I would recommend on the card as he gets the ball and slots past the goalkeeper. But that acceleration is instant and it is bloody brilliant. And his speed, he's lightning fast. For a big lad, six foot two tall, he is very fast and he's powerful. Not strength wise because strength wise it wasn't the greatest in the world. He can shield himself from other challenges, but it's the shot power that I'm kind of touching on here because his power is ridiculous. As you see in power, a header into the back of the net. And that is down to his height. His height is uh, six foot two. That is a pro for any card in the game. His heading wasn't really accurate, but in the air, he is very good and he can hold his own. Now the cons of this card, stamina. Stamina is so damn important on FIFA 17, it really is, because if you lose stamina, you become incompetent in game. And Kalechi Iheanacho, he did that a lot of times. He lost stamina, then he would just he'd basically die off in the second half of games. His curve it just wasn't there. It just wasn't there. And his aggression for the 50-50 challenges, it just wasn't great, lads. It just wasn't great. So overall, you will get a rating of a 7.4. He's a solid striker, but I don't think he's worth the coins at this current moment in time. 20k? I don't think so. He's going to get a value for coins of a 6.0. But lads, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, Kalechi Iheanacho review. If you have, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here, lads. And as always, I will catch you all next time.